afternoon, dear beloveds. This is White Wolf. I'm going to start off. Finite protocols, couple on the live fire dry, earth water dry, earth fire dragon, clients being dragon, golden horse dragon, Seiko, my two black dragons, black dragon from Saturn, Alpha Dragon, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Sandalfin, Raphael, Mother Mary, Galactic Federation of Light, Grandmother, Grandfather, and the tribal women are also in attendance, the Intergalactic Council. And so it is. Hello, guys. This is White Wolf once again. And I've talked about attracting money. I've talked about attracting things, manifestation. But I've never talked about seeing through the illusion of wealth and what that really means. And I'm not going to get too ahead of myself because I want you guys to hear the message. I know there's not anybody in the room. But just because there's nobody in the room does not mean that someone's not hearing this message. And I'm going to see myself again. Turn the volume down. And I'm going to share out to all the groups. So please share out as I'm sharing out. So we all think that money is the root to solving all of our problems. We think it's a baseline. We think that it's something to fall back on. And we feel like that money is going to make us happy. Well, I'm here to tell you that money is not going to make you happy. It is not us chasing money. It is us chasing fulfillment. It's us chasing our inspiration, our creation, our manifestation. And it's us chasing all the things that we want to do. But money sort of helps out with that. Money helps out with making sure that everything is going to be okay. But it's not chasing the money. Money helps you with your gifting, helps you with your businesses, helps you with that. But it is not the money that you're chasing. It's what you can do with the money to bless the universe, to bless your clients, to bless your business, to bless the collective consciousness. And we need to see through the illusion of wealth and turn it into something a lot different. Okay? So today we're going to be talking about seeing through the illusion of wealth. Trust me, everybody works a nine to five every single day of their life and they're miserable. I've done it. I did it for three years. I worked 12 days straight and every other weekend off at a golf course. Trust me. And I didn't do it for a lot of money. But I'm here to tell you that people have money and they're not vibrationally in alignment with their true state of frequency, with their true state of being. They don't align their vibrational attitude with having the money. And I'm here to tell you that if you get all that money, what's going to happen? You didn't focus on your self-fulfillment. You didn't focus on your self-realization, your empowerment, your confidence. You didn't focus on feeling good above all else. And then you got the money and what happened? You went bankrupt. You lost your car. You lost your children. You got a divorce. And it's because you were focusing all of your energy onto the money itself but you forgot one thing. Your vibrational attitude was not aligned with your fulfillment, with your inspiration, with your grace, with confidence. So it is not the money that we are chasing. It is not the wealth or the status or being materialistic that we are chasing. What we are chasing is going uh, and getting jet skis and riding them in the ocean. What we are chasing is living our fullest lives. What we are chasing is truly blessing the collective consciousness, making, maybe opening a business venture, maybe having the aligned action in order to get that money. But what we always do when the aligned action does not go well, we give in to doubt. Just because you didn't get a job and you looked at four or five places, and I'm talking about myself right now, if you went to four or five places and you applied for them and they didn't really, you know, give you attention, you didn't get those jobs, it wasn't meant to be. Maybe you tried to sell a lot of stuff and the stuff did not sell. Are you supposed to give in doubt? Are you supposed to give up? I mean, yesterday I listened to money affirmations, laid down and bawled my eyes out. And then guess what? I got my tax return. It came in because I was not having faith within my vibrational attitude, within how powerful that I am, within my frequency. And what we do is that we think that we're not magnets for money, that we're not a magnet to the universe. 
And I'm sorry, but if God has a plan for you, there's no reason that you should go into doubt and there's no reason that you shouldn't have faith and there's no reason why you should not try to feel good about yourself, about your life, about what is in your reality first before the money comes in. In order to get the money, you have to do aligned action. And if those aligned actions are not falling through, it was not meant for you. Because we always worry, we always obsess about things, we always put too much energy into attracting things when we need to just let it be and let it go and let God's source energy and your higher self and your guides and your angels and everybody take care of that and just live your life. In the spiritual work, we stress about having clients. We stress out about that, like, why haven't I had a client in a while? And then all of a sudden, you get a client because the universe is telling you, hey, brother or sister, you need to have faith. You need to calm down. You need to stop stressing out because God has a plan for you. And if God has a plan for you, then you are safe and supported and you need to focus on your vibrational attitude and confidence because confidence and vibrational attitude is everything. And everything will fall into place if you take those aligned actions. If you go to the grocery store and you meet somebody that helps you with your business, that helps you uh, find spiritual platforms, or even helps you assemble a team of people to make your gifting bigger. The universe is a strange and crazy place, but we always think that money is going to solve our problems. So really, we are God in human form. We are the oracle of love, light, and wisdom. And we are the source of solving all of our problems. We are. We are the walking manifestation powerhouse. We are the beginning and we are the end. We are before creation and after creation. And I just want to tell you that you have to feel good within your own consciousness, within your heart, within your mind, within your thoughts, within your emotions, within your state of frequency in order to feel good about having money. Money is not going to make you happy. Having clients all the time is not going to make you happy. But the fact that you can live in peace, the fact that you can lay your head down at night in complete and utter peace, knowing that you don't have to worry, knowing that you're safe and supported, and that you're doing some deep inner work yesterday about money affirmations, and then all of a sudden the universe is like, I need to teach White Wolf something. I need to teach him something. I need to teach him something about having faith above all else and having confidence within yourself no matter what the physical reality is telling you. Because we always think of things being realistic. I'm sorry, but if you think linear, if you think realistic, you are delusional. If you think realistic, and you think linear, you're delusional because you're not changing your belief systems. You're not willing to change. You're not willing to up your frequency, up your vibratory state. And I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to myself and I'm talking to the entire universe because us as humans, we don't think we are superhumans and we need to make superhumans a normality. We need to make it a normal thing because we always think that we're just mundane and that we're simple and that we're just black and white when really there's a very gray area there. I'm sorry, but our circumstances are just illusions and reflections to see what you are going to do about that said circumstance or that said reflection. It is not money or wealth or status or materials or objects that you are chasing. What you are chasing, and especially if you are a healer of sorts, you're seeking resonance, you're seeking fulfillment, you're seeking success upon what it looks like to you. So if you don't feel good about your life, if you don't feel good in your state of frequency and your state of being and embracing the non-physical reality and living by what you prefer to see, what you want to see manifest, writing things down, praying, prayer is essential. 
I'm sorry, do you think do you think Jesus didn't have faith? Did you think Jesus was not trying to demonstrate things to people in all of his life lessons and all of his prophecy? I'm sorry, but he was. He was showing people like in the boat, on the cross, whatever it may be. It doesn't matter. But Jesus had full confidence and faith in himself because he knew that he was God in human form. I use him a lot because Jesus is very essential as being a light worker. I'm sorry, it's not easy being a light worker. People think it's rainbows and butterflies. I'm sorry, stay in that realm. But if you're not doing the deep inner work, if you're not trying to change your belief systems and how you see life, you're going to have a hard time when you have money because you're going to make a lot of mistakes. When you have that money, when you marry somebody and then you get a divorce, you lose your kids, you lose your car, you go bankrupt and you're like, God, why, why did you make me go through that? Having all that money, wasn't I following the trail? Well, you were, but you just were kind of misguided along the way because you thought the money was going to make you happy and that you were going to be set. But we never think about being happy in our own skin before all else. We think we should just work until we're dead to the bone, until we're 45, and we feel like we need to meditate for five hours until we're 90, and then we'll become enlightened. Well, I'm sorry. I don't want to wait. You don't want to wait. You want it now. Like J.G. Wentworth, you know that commercial, J.G. Wentworth? I need cash now. I want it now. I don't want to wait. I want it now. But... I want to feel good before I have that money. I'm sorry. If someone told me, if somebody told me like, White Wolf, would you want a million dollars right to your door? Or would you rather feel good about your life, your, your girlfriend, your dog, your house, your dishes, your coffee maker, all the little things that make up life. Do you feel good about the fitness plan that you're on, your meal plan that you're on. I'm sorry. I would rather feel joy, abundance, happiness, ecstasy above all else instead of having money and then being mad at myself for making wrong decisions having those having that money without having counsel, without having guidance. When I have the money itself, this is seeing through the illusion of wealth. We think that we want wealth. No, we just want to be wealthy so that we can do what the fuck we want to do. Right? We want to have money so that we can bless our girlfriend or boyfriend or bless our family or bless the universe, bless our team, bless our clients, bless everything as it goes because it's a give or take situation. You, the much you give, the more you will receive back to you. And I'm sorry, it's all about having full confidence within yourself, no matter how it looks to the physical world. The physical world is linear. The physical world is delusional. But we have to use our non-physical imagination with our higher self, with our guides, to manifest wealth into existence. I was stressing out so much about getting a job and making all this money so I can get a truck to do this with my gifting to do that. And I laid on the floor in here doing some deep inner work about money affirmations and I teared up even. And as I did that, I was got done watching Walker last night, my new favorite TV show. And then guess what? I get an email on my phone and this was confirmation. This was a sign. This was a synchronistic moment. And it showed me on my phone through my Gmail. And it was like, hello, White Wolf. You got this much money coming to you. Your tax return came in. Why were you worried? Because the universe will always teach you a lesson. Your whole life journey is a test and a lesson and a reflection for you. And to realize that your circumstances don't mean jack. But your vibrational attitude creates things into existence. Your confidence within yourself creates things into existence. Your happiness creates things into existence. 
you having faith in yourself allows you to change your life. It allows you to grow and change with your life. And this is why people don't evolve in their life. This is why people have a slow regression. This is why people, uh, progression, not regression, <laughs> excuse me, progression. And by the grace of God, I was very fortunate within my spiritual journey that I had someone guiding me, that I had a relationship guide me. And a lot of my work was done by me, but if I didn't have that said person in my life who was, you know, kind of hard on me and directed me and ma allowed me to make choices, I don't know where I would be. I probably would not be on the spiritual path. I probably would have found out later in life, but by the grace of God, he just chose me for something. And he has chosen you for something. He has chosen Morningstar for something. But we have to feel good above all else, have comp choose confidence above all else, because it is not the wealth, because the fruits of life is meditation, is your soul journey, is the experiences, is all of the lessons and the triumph and the um, stages of your life, the growth of your life and how you change within your life. That is the fruits, and there's no money that could buy that. There is no money that could buy your psychic abilities, your supernatural abilities, you helping people find spiritual enlightenment. That is the fruits of life. You helping people meditate with your meditative healings, that is the fruits of life. And I'm sorry, but if you think that service itself is going to get you through so many doors, it's not going to because it starts out that way. Service the self so you can feel worthy, so you can feel fulfilled and follow your inspiration and start creating things and start manifesting things and start to be more authentic, confident, happy, um, safe and secure. Because I'm sorry, Jesus in the boat had security. He was safe. Jesus on the cross was showing people stuff when he arose. And I, I, I'm not word for word correct on the Bible, but we can take things from all religions and all, all of spirituality, from science, from everywhere. From Bentinho Massaro, from Matt Kahn, we can take things from every single place, but that is the fruit. That is the riches of life. It's not money. Money is not going to make you happy. Money is not going to make you feel like you were fulfilled that you succeeded. What's really going to make you feel success is when 10 years down the road that you attracted all that wealth and you feel good about it and you uh, bless people along the way and that every time you went live, you donated something to somebody. You donated knowledge to them. You helped heal them. You brought them confidence. You made them feel worthy. You spread love to them and you led with your heart. And people saw the grace in your eyes because we are magnets to the universe. People see a singular light, the light that illuminates the universe. We all have this light within us. And when people are drawn to us, and when people are drawn to us, the collective consciousness is moving forward and it's going and it's moving and moving and moving and moving towards the right direction because it's not going to stop. This is why so many people are waking up, the 144,000 people that are light workers that are waking up. Some people don't get this epiphany in any of their lifetimes, but that is the riches of life, of having this epiphany about how we see through all of the illusions of time, of space, of wealth, of circumstances, of physical reality. So if you think that this path is about chasing money, I'm here to tell you that you are wrong. It is not about chasing money. It's about chasing your growth, your change, the inner work, 
the teachings that you deliver, that they change, that they expand. That's what the problem is, is that we feel like when we get this money, oh, it's going to expand things. No, you have to expand. And this message is just as much for me as it is for all of you. This is just as much for me as it is for all of you. This is why we don't expand in a lot of lifetimes, because it's a veil of forgetfulness. It's a path of self-remembrance. And once we remember that we are rich, that we are millionaires in our heart, in our minds, in our consciousness, and that we are just consciousness manifesting and creating everything, there's nothing that money can buy that. Your anointing, nobody can buy that. Your spiritual growth, nobody can buy that. Your change, your commitment, your dedication to helping people on the spiritual path, there's no money that could pay for that. I'm here to tell you all that. So what we chase in our life progression, it, it's not money. It's how we can bless others with money. How we can truly live for ourselves so that one day we could live for others and teach them about this understanding. So that we can enlighten them on the fruits of life. And my leg is going to sleep. <laughs> Um, but what we're going to do today is that we're going to be doing some healing. And while we're doing the healing, I want you to understand, I want you to think of things that you want done in two weeks. I want you to think of things that you want done in five years. I want you to think of things you want done in 20 years, maybe tomorrow. And... I want you to realize that we are a magnet for wealth and change and money. That we are the wealth. That we are the riches. That we are the fruits of life. And that we are... People are drawn to us because they see light in our eyes. We open the eyes of people's hearts, if you will. So, once we get into some healing... I want you to make a lot of affirmations to yourself. I want you to think of maybe a job that you want. I want you to think of a car that maybe you want and have spirits directing you to that car or maybe just going to that car dealership and that you are following the path that was set for you. So, Say whatever you need to say to yourself as an affirmation. That no matter what you do, you generate wealth. That you're opening up doors. That you're opening up businesses. That you're developing your own team of associates that are going to help you and propel you to become much and much bigger than you ever imagined. The highest light of your destiny dear beloveds, in this moment. And I'm going to be doing Stupid Mudra Energy and Light Language. Please share out to all of the groups and feel free to donate and make an appointment with me. $30 for 30 minutes, $60 for 60 minutes, and $90 for an hour and a half. And we'll have to discuss if it's long. Ishipama Aya, Ashitim Matoya, Atipim Makaya, Atipim Matoya, Ashipim Aya, Atipim Makaya, Shitipama Aya, Atipim Matoya, Ishipama Aya, Atipim Aya, Ashitim Mataya, Ashikim Makaya, Shitipama Aya, Atipim Mataya, Ashitim Matoya, Ishipama Aya, Atipim Mataya, Do we are, Do we are, Shitipama 
I adopted them a toy, yeah, I should be my eye at the Archangel Raphael and his green dragons allow you to see cosmic abundance from people like Nikola Tesla, the galactic beings of light, the galactic federation of light, the intergalactic council. And right now they're helping you seek wealth from all directions of life. Anything you do generates you wealth. Everything you touch turns to gold. Because you are the oracle of love, light, and wisdom, and the oracle of love, light, and wisdom is God in human form. So feel this in your heart, feel this in your mind, feel this in your spirit. Up your frequency, feel good, choose confidence above all else before you attract the money. Because once you feel good and you attract the money, you will make the right choices and not the wrong choices. You would do it for the benefit of all. You would do it to bless people. You give, you receive. The future is bright for all of us. God's source energy will not leave you. But it wants you to have authority. It wants you to have faith. It wants you to change your beliefs in the way you look at things and have an optimistic view. Even if it sounds quite ridiculous. But the way we've been living is redundant. That's why we don't evolve quickly is because we're programmed by society's rules. But we don't live by society's rules when we are God in human form. We are the oracle of love, light, and wisdom. And the oracle of love, light, and wisdom does not settle for less. It wants more. But when it wants more, it wants to feel epic in the process. It wants to be happy. It wants to not give credit to circumstances and give its power away. And trust me, this one, and I'm talking about myself, has given his power away before. So don't do that.
It's not fun. But if you need to truly go live your worst case scenario for harsh reflections, be my guest. But I'm only giving you wisdom right now because I don't want you to make the same mistake that I did. But don't be feel bad about mistakes because mistakes are one step closer to seeing the creator in its true form. A lot of you are from the stars. A lot of you are from different planets, like me. A lot of you, including myself, don't know how important you are. You don't know how important you are. You are chosen, like myself. And I don't say that with any ego. The chosen ones are the ones who are rebuked. The chosen ones are the ones that have to follow their spiritual path above all else. And I mean above all else. That is the fruit of life and the riches of life. Is following your highest excitement. And healing all the wounds that you have experienced in all of your lifetimes. All of your lifetimes. Your journey was meant for triumph. It was meant for challenges. It was meant for catalysts. It was meant for lessons, reflections. Seeking true happiness. True fulfillment. Seeking inspiration and then creating it. Even Jesus was rebuked by his own people. And some of you have had the same thing happen. It's because you're not normal. It's because you're not the same as everybody else. But everything in your experience before you initially awakened was meant to happen because it made you who you are today. It made you who you are. Everything was set before you and agree you agreed to it before you went through the veil of amnesia. You agreed to all of this that happened in this lifetime progression. But you must let go of everything. Just let go and let spirit guide you. And make your own communities, your own family. Have an impact on the collective consciousness today. Help change somebody today. Allow someone to not feel as if they are alone. Because we are never alone, but some of you feel as if you are alone in this, but you're not. And I love you, and they love you, 
all of your guides, all of your angels, all of the intergalactic council and the galactic federation of light, dragons, fairies, they all love you and they're watching you. And they are proud of you. That you're standing in the authority of being a light worker and it's hard being a light worker. It is hard because you're going through each stage of your growth in increments because you are not allowed to grow all at one time because you physically could not handle it. This is so important to see through the illusion of wealth. Because everything that you've ever desired, all the happiness that you are searching for is not outside of oneself, but it is inside of you and seeing through the illusion to see God within yourself and become the oracle of love, light, and wisdom. We are meant to inspire, we are meant to activate something in people, that's why we were chosen. It's why God's source energy put this in our path, it put it catapulted us into this. This is not for the faint hearted, and Morning Star has said so herself. This was not for the faint hearted. This was meant for warriors. This was meant for philosophers. This was meant for astronomers. This was meant for psychics. This was meant for the Buddhists. This was meant for Jesus and all the prophets. So open your heart and just let the love and the light and the wisdom of you being the oracle and allow you to be charged with spirit, with God's source energy's grace. It's about to get wild, but in a good way. So don't be afraid, it's gonna get wild. Oh, it is about to get wild, dear beloveds, but in a, such a beautiful way.
I enjoyed the time that we spent here together today in this holy matrimony of healing, of change, of progression. But as I snap my fingers, you will come back to you. You have a greater sense of clarity of who you are. You become the oracle of love, light, and wisdom, God in human form. And you will be activated. You will attract wealth. You will be a magnet for the universe. And you will bless the collective consciousness. Take a deep breath. Exhale. And take one last deep breath. That was really powerful. Please share out to all the groups. Feel free to donate. My PayPal is on here. And please make an appointment with me. This is White Wolf. $30 for 30 minutes. $60 for 60 minutes. $90 for an hour and a half. And any longer we'll have to discuss that. But please share out to all the groups. Share this to all of the groups. And I hope this embodied everything that you need to attract wealth and see through the illusion of it and all the illusions but like this page love it and get more of it this is white wolf i hope you enjoyed this healing and i hope that you all were blessed by it and please re-watch this if you're coming back into the feed and please share out to all of the groups i just had a prophetic message come through i usually don't get those but anyways, thank you all. So much love for all of you. Thank you for watching.